Hi and hello to everyone. Now uh, this is Prakash Varanesh here. Okay, in this video we are going to learn about uh, how to create an external interrupt with ESP32. Okay, guys, uh, let's get started with this program. And uh, here I have created uh, three variables. The first variable, which is nothing but const byte, data type, uh, button pin variable, and uh, I just assign the value as that because I'm going to use the 13th pin as a button pin. And the next thing is LED pin variable of const by type. And uh, I'm just assigning the value as 12 because I'm going to connect the 12th pin with LED. And uh, I'm just creating a message variable of Boolean type and uh, assign it to an false. False condition means zero. That's it, guys. And just to come over here in voice setup, uh, I just uh, begin the serial communication between the computer and ESP32 board. And uh, here you can see the pin mode, LED pin as an output, and the button pin. I just uh, connect an internet plug resistor with the pin. That's it, guys. And uh, here is the attached interrupt API. Okay, in this API. You can you need to provide the three arguments. The first argument, which is nothing but which button pin you are going to use. Okay, which pin you are going to use is very important. In my case, it is actually the button pin. The second one, which is nothing but and function, which is nothing but ISR routine, and then third thing is uh, which type of uh, interrupt you are going to use. In my case, I'm going to use just following. Why? Because uh, whenever I am pressing the button, the value will go from 1 to 0, right? It is actually falling. From 1 to 0, the level is actually changing. But from 1 to 0, there will be a line, right? So that is actually the falling, okay? From 1 to 0. That's it, guys. That's all about uh, this API. What we will do is we will create an ISR routine here. For the compiler to place code in a RAM, I'm just going to use this. Okay, void iram addr. Okay, what it will do is it will compile and place the code in RAM. That is actually the meaning and the code function. Sorry. Code function. That's it. That's it, guys. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the message as true, and I'm going to print as serial dot print alarm. external interrupt event has occurred. Okay, and in while loop, what I'm going to do is, uh, if it is becomes true, you need to do a certain amount of action. So that is actually I'm going to do it in loop. If message is become uh, true, then what we have to do, you have to switch on the LED, right? Digital, right? Sorry, LED pin, comma high, and then what we have to do? We have to provide a certain amount of delay. I'm just going to provide as a one second delay, which is nothing but thousand milliseconds. Then what I'm going to do here is serial dot print. Even the captured. I'm just making the message as false. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to digital write to the uh, LED pin as low. That's it, guys. That's all about the program right now. Okay. And we will go and uh, check whether the program is compiling and uploading successfully or not. Okay, I'm just pressing this button. Okay, at your case, you can save the program.
just wait a moment okay it is quite uploading right first of all what we have to do is we have to press the boot button for a certain time yeah now it is uploading actually here you can see right into the flash and the program okay fine guys what we have to do is we just need to open the serial monitor and uh, here you can see i'm just going to press the button the external event has been upgraded here you can see the led is turned on and then event has been captured and then the led goes off yeah whenever actually we are uh, placing the code in ram it is actually executed in a very high speed uh, especially for interrupt concepts okay so only we are going to use this api okay iram editor with the uh, other ISR. So that's it guys, that's all about this tutorial, thank you.